Hey yo, what is up guys, it's just Rick here, and I just want to make a quick announcement on the oh so awesome game Dungeon Fighter Online, or DFO for short. Now I got a lot of love on my initial DFO Alpha release video, and I'm happy to inform you guys that there is even more good news on the way for it. In this video, I want to talk about the two most recent announcements made on the DFO official Facebook page that basically finally puts a lot of us fans at ease. DFO is going live past Alpha. Yes! So okay, maybe that wasn't all that exciting for you guys, but it's important to realize that as I mentioned in my latest PvE video, this was not at all a guaranteed thing. This post is the first reassuring that it will indeed come out. So first, let's do a rundown of that gorgeous post entitled Alpha and Beyond, which as the title suggests is the bullet list of plans after the Alpha phase. So first, I'm sure you're wondering what's going to happen with all of the gear that you've obtained here in Alpha. Well, first and foremost, your character name class and level will remain intact i repeat will remain intact though everything else including but not limited to gold items and weapons will be erased it should be noted that although they are removing them they have stated that they will provide necessary items to get back into the game without too much hassle next the login with facebook feature will soon become optional though obviously if you still want to play with your alpha character to receive all these benefits you're gonna have to keep this same login method lastly for those who participated in the alpha, they said that they have some kind of reward for us, though we're not sure what that is yet. Now the post ends with a note on the expected release date, which, and I quote, we will not be able to bring the game back within a few weeks. It may take longer than many of you expect, but we will make sure to communicate with you through this page and let you know where we are in terms of the official launch. So guys, we've been given the promise that they are going to release it. Now it's a matter of being patient on waiting until that day comes. Of course you know, I will be here to make yet another video for when that happens. Now I know that's about all you guys wanted to hear, but about an hour before this post was made, the CEO of Neopole, In Lee, made a letter onto this Facebook page as well, which also turned out to be quite revealing for what we may expect in Neopol. I want to summarize this letter to talk about the key points. Of course, if you guys want to see the official post, links are in the description below. He has stated that they kind of created this alpha as a way to measure just how popular the game was, which he has stated they have seemed to have underperformed in that area. But they have to remember that the only promotion that they did was entirely by word of mouth of the fans, which still commanded impressive results, you gotta admit that. Clearly, with proper promotion, this is a game that will most certainly flourish. Despite this, they of course still want to release the game because of the comments and positive feedback received on the Facebook page, but he has a few forewarnings to give beforehand, which I will list out now. They say that they failed the game already once before. But, oh, okay, let's be honest here. They were the devs of the games, not the publishers. Nexon of America failed once, not you guys. The game was and always has been amazing. We expect much different things from you guys who are in complete control now. Now they state that their game will run into problems and they will try their best to fix them. Which I'd say is a pretty believable statement considering they are primarily the game's developers. If they can promise anything, it's gonna be that they can fix the bugs in their own game, which is pretty exciting. Not a lot of publishers these days can say that. That being said, they are game developers, which in itself naturally means that they're inexperienced in customer support and game service in general. So some leeway has to be given to them as they try their best at this. Now they say they want to make gold bots meaningless in their game, but at the same time they don't want to devote their entire efforts into it. They also want to make it clear that to help this endeavor, not to hack or cheat yourself. Now Facebook is a great place for them to communicate with us, but don't expect people to reply to us all the time here. But while you're here, you might as well spread the news about DOFO coming back as much as possible like I am. But anyway guys, that's about it for the good news. Make sure to spread all the word you can about DFO. And hey, if you want a place for all kinds of DFO content, make sure to subscribe to the Aegis Rick YouTube channel for PvE, PvP, guides, and update content for DFO as it prepares to go into official release. But anyway guys, thanks for watching, and I will catch you guys later.